Hi there. Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio, here to speak one more time from the book of Ecclesiastes and this whole business of living in depressing times. And I've spoken of Solomon's complaint about the cruel, arbitrary nature of the world. And I've spoken of how, though Solomon doesn't admit it up front so much in the course of Ecclesiastes, he knows that he has contributed to the sorry state of things, both in the world at large and in his life. And I've spoken of the chief of all of Solomon's terrors, age and death, and that God has made provision for these things in Jesus Christ. And I will speak just one more time. Solomon, in his late life, had made some serious mistakes and been led down some terribly wrong paths. But in the end, despite all else, he came to the right conclusion. Let me share with you uh, chapter 12, verses 6 and 7, and verse 13 of Ecclesiastes. Remember him that is God. Remember him before the silver cord is broken and the golden bowl is crushed, and the pitcher by the well is shattered, and the wheel at the cistern is crushed. Then the dust will return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit will return to the God who gave it. Verse 13, the conclusion, when all has been heard, is fear God and keep His commandments, because this applies to every person. There are so many things we don't know and can't know, especially in the sense that Solomon would have liked to know in advance, to know before it gets here. If only we had known, we would have acted differently but we didn't act differently because we didn't know. Now, sometimes like Solomon, we're not being honest about that. Oh, we knew and we did certain things anyway, but there is still a core of truth to this. If we had known when and where the tornado was going to come, we had not built our new house there. If we had known when this coronavirus was going to strike and what shape all its consequences were going to take, we might have made different decisions about our money or our associations or many another thing if only we had known. Well, here is a wonderful truth. God knows. God knows all things. And he knows the end from the beginning. And he knows the particulars. And he knows the times. And he knows the directions. It is true. We don't know everything we think we would like to know in order to have a safe passage in this life. But God knows. And we can be guided by his knowledge, for he has told us everything we need to be happy and secure. And so the conclusion when all has been heard is this, fear God and keep his commandments, for this applies to every man and in these times and in all times. The God who knows everything will lead us through. If you would pray with me. Father, bless these moments that we can spend together in your word and help us to know that you can be trusted and that your perfect knowledge lays down the right path before us. Give us the grace and wisdom to walk in it through the coronavirus crisis and beyond. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.